Have you ever wondered what those new shortcuts are on the Windows 10 taskbar, which is the bar at the bottom of your screen? There are several tools built into Windows 10 and that show up on the taskbar that can save you a lot of time and help you focus. We'll talk about one of those, the task view, today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm a digital productivity trainer and owner of Gateway Productivity. Today, I'd like to show you the Windows 10 task view. This is a great tool that allows you to better focus on the things you have going on. There are a couple different elements that I'll show you. The first one is the task view itself. The reason it's called task view is because it's showing you all of the windows or tasks that you have open. You can even see the tasks you've had open for the last several days and even up to a month ago. And again, the tasks are the different things that you worked on, the windows you had open, the programs you had open, documents, files, all of those types of things. The other piece I'll show you is the desktop option. Windows allows you to have more than one desktop running. What this means is your main screen, that's your desktop that usually has a background picture, you can have more than one of those. And on each of those, you can have separate programs open. This would allow you to have very split focus. You can have a focus on one desktop that is for, say, your accounting, and an, a focus for your other desktop that is your marketing. There are so many options to what you can do. And if you put this together with time blocking, which is putting time in your calendar for specific tasks, you can be extremely focused in your work. Let's take a look at how this works. We'll start our demo from the desktop. Now you can see my desktop is clean and I did that just so we can focus on what we need to, but your desktop may have several things on it and there's nothing wrong with that. Where you're going to go from your desktop and make sure you've reduced all of your windows, minimize them or close them. Once you have that and you can get to your bar, which is at the bottom, mine auto hides, but yours may be there all the time and that's fine too. Everybody has different ways of setting their things up. The main thing is we want to get down to this bottom bar. We're going to go all the way to the left and most likely you'll have this little guy here that's called task view and you may not have ever known what it did. You also may have a big white box next to it and that's Cortana. We'll talk about Cortana on another day. When you click on the task view, you'll see this new window pops up. What this is showing you is all of the windows or tasks, if you want to call them that. These are all the tasks that you have open, all the things you're working on. You can see I have YouTube open. That's because I'm creating a video right now. I have Zoom open, also creating a video. Calculator, PowerPoint, you can see all of the windows that you have open. It makes it a little easier to get from one window to another. The next piece you can see below that is that you can see more days in your timeline if you'd like. And the timeline is on the right hand side. You see this here. You can click and drag on this. So if I click on the bubble, you can see it turns color to know that you clicked on it. And then I'm going to hold down the mouse and I'm going to drag it down. And you can see all of the things that I've had open in the last several days. If I choose to click on any of the boxes that I see, it will open the window or the document or the picture that I have clicked on. Now that we've seen the timeline, you can see how it could be helpful to you to click yes to this question here about seeing more days in the timeline. If you're someone who could greatly benefit from getting to a document that you know you opened 10 days ago, you might want to click on this and then it will open up 30 days worth of documents or windows that you have opened. The other amazing time saver that I want to show you in the task view is this little option in the upper left corner that says new desktop. It seems very unassuming, but it's very powerful. As a reminder, your desktop is what you're seeing back behind all of the windows you have open. Let's go there just so you can see how you get back. If you click anywhere away from any of these boxes, you'll go back to your desktop. And there you can see we're back to where we started. So don't feel like you're getting lost anywhere. You can click in the area without any boxes, without any windows, and you can get back to your desktop. 
So we'll go back to where we were. And so that's a reminder of what your desktop is. It is the space that's underneath everything that you have open. So when we choose to create a new desktop, we're going to create a second one of those. This is a new thought process that a lot of people aren't comfortable with, but it's really just your computer creating a couple different workspaces for you. So let's click on new desktop. You can see what it does is it doesn't automatically move us to the new desktop. It keeps us in our current desktop and it labels that as desktop one. If you're someone who is going to use different desktops for different tasks or groups of tasks, then you might want to change the name of each of the desktops. Let's do that now. So let's say for desktop one, this is where I'm working on my video. And then maybe I want to set up desktop two to work on my accounting. And for more practice, we'll even set up a third desktop and this one will be for my marketing. To go to your new desktop, which will be blank with no windows open, you just click on that picture. Now you can see this looks very similar to what we already had open. It looks exactly like my other desktop. However, when I go down to the bar, you see that there are no active windows. There's no active programs, no active applications. And as you remember, we had YouTube open, calculator open, and several other things. What this has done is give you a new workspace or desktop that has nothing going on. You can focus on something new. Since this is my accounting desktop, I will open a brand new Excel spreadsheet. And for now, that's all I need on this desktop. I just need to work on a spreadsheet for my company for my accounting. If I set this up at the beginning of the day, I can work on my video at the beginning, then I can work on my accounting and switch over to the desktop that's fresh with nothing else open in the midday, and then maybe in the late afternoon, I'm going to switch to marketing. So I'll go set up that desktop. To get to that desktop, I'll go back down to my task view button, and then I will switch to this marketing option. Once again, since I'm in a brand new desktop, there are no applications open. For my marketing desktop, I know that I will need the internet, so I'll pull that up. And then I will also need my social media content. So I will go find that in my folders. When I'm ready to work on marketing later today, I will have everything set up and ready to go. To get back to my original desktop, I will go back down to our task view button and then I'll go back to my video option, which was my original desktop. Hopefully you can see all of the benefits that you could have by using this task view system. You can either just use the task view to get to things that are open quickly, or you can use the task view to find things that you had open several days ago, or you can choose to use the new desktop option to have multiple desktops open so that you can focus on one thing at a time. Have you had a light bulb moment from this training? If so, please let me know in the comments below, or you can leave questions in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. You can also leave a thumbs up for the video or share it with someone you think could benefit from the information. And be sure to click the subscribe button below, it's in red. Once you click on it, then you'll see a bell icon. What that does is give you immediate updates when new videos are posted. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time.